And we're back! Welcome to Sweethearts or Arrivals. I'm Sharla. I'm Justin. What's on the table today? Carcassonne with the ninth expansion, Hills and Sheep. It looks like this. Yep. And like this. Right. Sort of. <laughs> so, it's still good. You play two to six players. Mm -hmm. It says it's going to add up to 40 minutes, or a total of 40 minutes. Yep. If you put it with the base Carcassonne. Yep. And it's good for ages 13 and up. Yep. And it adds uh, tiles. Uh, yeah, it adds uh, new tiles that are hills. Uh, new tiles it adds that are vineyards. Vineyards, yeah. It also adds a new meeple, uh, which is your shepherd. And it also adds, oops, I'll put it on camera, mm -hmm. a bag that you put in your sheep tokens and yep. your wolf tokens. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Uh, there is a 2014 big box version of Carcassonne, which includes several expansions, including the hills and sheep. And it also comes with pink and purple as uh, seventh and eighth players. That's awesome. Which pink? I'm gonna have to awesome. double check it, but I'm pretty sure that would mean that um, it would come with a uh, shepherd in that color as well. Yes, yeah, so I need to get a pink shepherd. Yep. Well, we have purple too, but pink yeah. is more important. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> in my opinion. Yep. So there should be a link on the screen here, uh, somewhere around here, that uh, oh. will bring us to the overview if you want to see what exactly Hills and Sheep brings to the game, as well as a playthrough. Right. And if you're unfamiliar with Carcassonne, we can also stick mm. one of yep. our playthroughs for... Whole screen of, uh, of links. <laughs> Little annotations. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, Hills and Sheep, uh, what do you think of the components? The components are excellent Carcassonne quality components that we've come to expect from them. From Carcassonne. Yeah. Nice hard tiles and good wooden meeples. Mm -hmm. And the punches are great. Yep. Yeah. The bag is really good quality. Yep. Seems to me I can't remember what game we just got recently, but the bag was horrible. It's already fallen to pieces. Yeah. This I've, bag's going to last you forever. I find a lot of bags and games aren't the best quality. Yeah. So this one's decent. This one's excellent quality. I like the little... And it's got sheep on yep. it too. It makes it kind of cute. I guess my only, my only gripe, because this would have been so nice... Instead of these little chits with the... Ooh, I got a wolf. Uh, with the wolf and sheep, it would have been great to have something like these. With stickers on them. Yeah. But, I mean, that adds a lot to the cost of the game. Exactly. And you can just pull sheep from your other games if you want to do what we did in the playthrough. Yeah, yeah. or Meeple Source. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, good. What do you think of the strategery? Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, the first time we were playing with the hills and sheep, I thought the hills thing would be lame because what you do is yeah, you, I agree. If, if you get a tile that has one of the hills on it um, which there, I'll, I'll just show you this way uh, it has a little flag on it what you do is you immediately reach in the bag and you pull out a second tile that goes face down and then you place it and what does that do it means if there's ever a tie involving one of your meeples on a hill that meeple counts as two which is kind of nice but no big deal but what really is kind of messes you up about it is the fact that you've taken a tile out of the game mm -hmm. now if you're playing with a whole lot of expansions that might not be that big of a deal but if you're just playing the base game with hills and sheep yeah that is a big deal yeah so one of the things we did when we finished the playthrough was immediately started flipping to see was there that one tile that i could have used and several times there, yes, were. there was yeah yeah so that does add um, some interesting long-term strategy concerns. Especially if you're only familiar with base Carcassonne and you know those tiles really well yeah. and you know exactly what the count is for each shape of tile. Yep. So it's not, you can't, you don't want to press your luck so bad mm. drawing the tiles out of the bag because yep. all of a sudden some are mystery tiles underneath there that you're never going to get to yep. see. And we do have to talk about, you know, yes, it's base Carcassonne with Hills and Sheep, but if you add this with all the other expansions, um, that kind of press your luck aspect where you're like, ooh, there's tiles missing, is going to be less. Right. Yeah. 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 But it was very interesting the first time we played, and I was like, oh, that's, I hadn't even considered that. Right. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, you didn't, we didn't really notice what it brought to the game until you actually sat down and played it. Yep. Yeah. So that was cool. Um, of course, with all Carcassonne, uh, the game is uh, random and then a lot of tact, uh, tactical. 
because you pull one tile, you have no idea what it's going to be, so there's that randomness, and then just that one tile, where is the best place for that? So a lot of tactics. Mm -hmm. um, very interesting press your luck with the, the randomness yeah. for the sheep because yeah. there's a lot of tokens in that uh, in this bag. Two of them are wolf uh, tokens. Yeah. So it would it would be a real pain to have you know this nice flock of eight, nine, ten sheep and then get that wolf. And then that lose one. all those yeah. points. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. Uh, what about the complexity? I don't think it's overly complex, especially if you're just going to start out with Carcassonne and Hills and Sheep. Mm -hmm. Play with Carcassonne a few times, add Hills and Sheep. It's not going to really be no. that hard to pick up. No. Um, if you're going with more than just base Carcassonne and just this expansion, like with any other expansion for Carcassonne, the more expansions you add in, uh, the more complex it's going to be. Right. But yeah. there is this great little um, kind of side awesomeness where you don't have to like you don't have to add all the other expansions in in order to add the ninth one hills and sheep right so all of the car all the expansions sit on their own and you can add in the, the ones that you like to play with right and oftentimes if we're in for a big game we'll throw all the tiles from all the expansions but then just pick and choose on yeah. which like maybe we won't use the towers and the bridges today right but with the tiles are still in there we just don't use the mechanism with it. Right. So you could definitely do that with this. You could say, you could say, you know what? I'm, I don't want to play with the shepherds and the sheep today, and you can still Let's use just the use tiles. Use the hills and the vineyards. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. So, what do you think about the playability of the playability? Yeah. Um, really, really good. Uh, no problems at all. I really, really like the vineyards um, because. We had the inns for the roads that give you bonus points on the roads, and you had the cathedrals yes. to give you bonus <laughs> points for the cities, but there was no bonus points for the um, cloisters, cloisters, and now there is. That's awesome. Uh, the playability, yeah, I'd throw this. Honestly, I could see me throwing this expansion in every time we play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, mechanics versus theme. I pretty much fit with every other Carcassonne. Mm -hmm. um, the hills, they're actually higher, which is kind of neat. So the yeah. king of the hill is a kind of a neat little mecha mechanism. And I like, well, the sheep are nice on the chits, mm -hmm. but we throw in the, we have a few extra yep. sheep from whatever we had made an order from one time. Yep. And you put those on there and you really like see your flock growing. And yeah. it's kind of cute. That yeah, like the sheep, they don't come with the game. It's just we happen to have some extras to throw it in. Yeah. To, you know, really it's a accentuate nice, that yeah. flock of sheep. It's a nice little way to bling out your... Yeah. your, your and it really sheep. helps puff up the theme a little yeah, bit. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, does it have the awesomeness or the cuteness? Carcassonne with Hills and Sheep has the cuteness, for sure, equal with the awesomeness. Yep. Yeah. It's an awesome little expansion, and most of Carcassonne with its artwork is pretty cute. Yep. Yep. And I think it's awesome... Yeah. Oh, like the gameplay and everything is awesome anyway, so. So I guess what we'd have to do is we can't rate Carcassonne, but what would we rate this expansion as? Is it a poor, good, excellent, or outstanding expansion for Carcassonne? It is an excellent expansion for Carcassonne. Yes, I would for agree. For sure. Definitely excellent to outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, again, the sheep are great. It's another great way to get some points, another strategy. And the vineyards, I think, I'd almost say this is, it has to be in every game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely play with it every time. Yeah. yeah. There are some expansions in Carcassonne that I would say I could live without. They don't need to be in there. And there are some expansions that, you know, if I want a really good game of uh, Carcassonne, they are essential, and I would include this in the essential. Yes, I agree with you. Excellent. So, do we finish this game as Sweethearts or Rivals? Oh, we finished it as Rivals. Oh, yeah, Rivals. Carcassonne is always Rivals. Yep, absolutely. There were some really really great uh, moments of blockage <laughs> in this particular game in the playthrough. Yeah. Yeah, which was awesome. 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 So yeah, again, I don't know if we said, but we'll put links to everything on yep. the screen for yeah. the Carcassonne overview, the overview, playthrough, playthrough yeah. Carcassonne, other expansions. Yeah. And thanks for watching. Thanks. See you next time. We're out.
Cue theme music. Down, 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 down